Okay, grade one, we're going to work on subtracting three using touch math. Now, remember, you can do subtraction questions using blocks. So you would count the blocks and take some away to get the answer. Or you can draw some pictures and cross out the ones that you're taking away. You might also have your questions memorized. That's called mental math. I'm going to teach you touch math because it's a nice, easy, fast way to do takeaway questions. So when you're taking away three um, in a subtraction question, okay, you have to make sure that you're touching three three times. So when you would do a question like this, 10 take away three equals, we'll figure out the answer, you tap 10, tap your head and say 10, and then count backwards. That's why we were practicing counting backwards on three. So it would look like this, 10, tap my head, 10, nine, eight, seven. So 10 take away three equals seven. Let's try nine take away three. Nine, tap nine, then count backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six. So nine take away three equals six. Okay, why are we counting backwards? Because we're taking away. Let's try eight take away three. Tap eight and then count backwards on three. Eight, seven, six, five. Eight take away three equals five. Let's try seven take away three. Tap seven first, seven, then count backwards on three. Six, five, four. So seven take away three equals four. Let's try six take away three. Tap six and count backwards. Five, four, three. Six take away three equals three. You might say, oh, I know that card, Mrs. Card, because I know that three plus three equals six. That's true. Six take away three equals three, and three plus three equals six are related because they're all using the same numbers to build adding and takeaway questions. Okay, let's try five take away three. Tap five and count backwards on three. Five, four, three, two. So five take away three equals two. Maybe you have that one memorized already. Let's try four take away three. Now before we actually do it, I want you to notice something. Mrs. Card taught you last day that when you're subtracting neighbor numbers, so numbers that are beside each other on the number line, like four and three, the answer is always one. So let's do our touch math and double check and make sure that that's true. So tap four and then count backwards. Three, two, one. Oh, that's right. Four take away three equals one. Okay, if you're not sure that I'm right, draw pictures. Four, take away three equals one. Okay, let's try three take away three. Three, now I'm gonna count backwards. Two, one, zero. Three take away three equals zero. Here's another trick for when you're doing takeaway questions. Whenever you start with a number and you subtract that exact same number, the answer is always zero. So if I could do, if I were to do one take away one, that would be zero. Two take away two would be zero. We already know three take away three equals zero. Four take away four equals zero. So anytime you're taking a number and subtracting that number, the answer is always zero. All right, have fun with your math.